U.S. Ambassador Ryan Crocker and Iraqi Foreign Minister Hashar Zabari signed the security pact in Baghdad on Monday. The agreement calls for the withdrawal of U.S. forces from Iraqi cities by June next year, and it calls for all American troops to leave the country by the end of 2011. The agreement must still be approved by Iraq's parliament. Adnan al-Dulemi, head of the largest Sunni bloc in the Iraqi parliament, says he has some reservations but in general supports the accord. We are, in principle, with the security pact. The pact would give Iraq authority over U.S. military operations for the first time by requiring the U.S. military to ask permission to search homes. It also would ban American use of Iraqi territory to launch attacks on third countries. U.S. State Department spokesman Sean McCormick says if the pact is passed, it would be an important and positive step. You will have had an, uh, an agreement signed between the United States and a democratic uh, Iraq, uh, a democratic Iraq that is in the heart of the Middle East, and that will change the Middle East forever for the positive. The pact comes after a year of often difficult negotiations and six weeks before a U.N. mandate on the presence of American troops expires. The security agreement overturns long-standing Bush administration policy against setting timelines for the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Iraq. McCormick says both sides made concessions to reach a final accord. I think the process affirmed the idea that these were two free sovereign states that we're dealing with one another and came to an agreement. The top U.S. military officer, Admiral Michael Mullen, said Monday he feels comfortable with the security agreement's terms. But the Joint Chiefs of Staff chairman said there might be some challenges in withdrawing U.S. forces from all Iraqi cities by next June. There, there are two pieces of this. One is Baghdad, in other words, turning the security of Baghdad over and that requirement, and that will be a big challenge. Uh, and the other that is clearly not secure uh, up north is Mosul. Uh, and we continue to be in a, in a pretty tough fight uh, up in Mosul. Still, Admiral Mullen said the Iraqi security forces have improved dramatically, and the agreement allows enough time for the Iraqis to prepare to defend themselves. The chairman added he will carry out whatever directions he gets from President-elect Barack Obama after he takes office on January 20th. Leita Hong Fincher, VOA News.